Hi there. Um, in this tutorial, I'd like to walk you through what you would do to change personal information in your profile. And I'll show you the tab that you use for that. It's here, My Profile. And I'm going to click on that. And it brings up a page with all of your information that the, the Master Gardeners keep on you. And I'll back out a little bit. It may be a little blurry when I back out, but at least it gives you the idea of what you can see. So you scroll down through this page. It starts here with contact information. Contact your, your first name, your last name, your title. If you see something that's in bold like this, um, for instance, this is your type is Hall of Fame Gold or whether you're a 250 hour, whether you're a blue pen master gardener, it's in bold. You can't really change that yourself. If you find an error in something that's not changeable, uh, contact me and we'll try and get the, the information straightened out for you in your, in your record. But anything that's open and blank and available to you is something you can change yourself. You can change your email address. If you look right here, this is the current email address we have listed for our fictional uh, deadhead flocks a lot. And uh, the demographics offer all of these things. So again, if you peruse through, um, we have a, f a, a marker here, for instance, if you've served on the board. Uh, board positions held, it says. So if you've ever been the financial support coordinator or, you've, or you're a past president, I think we've got most of the past presidents listed, or you were the treasurer, um, and click on that. List the offices you've held. It'll give us something that we can um, refer to later if we're ever seeking that kind of information. It's all helpful for us. Skills and experience, availability, and you can see when you pull down this menu, that there's a list of options for when you're available. Do we use this right now? Not this very second, but we may someday. And if you've got your information on file, it'll be helpful. Assignment preference. You can go through and look at the various jobs and list the top six that you think you might be interested in. Um, at the moment, we're not specifically using all that information, but we may. And uh, it's all good information to put in. It takes you a few seconds to, to make a few choices. You can change it anytime you want. and um, in the end, it will make this database a more usable thing. So that's how you work on your profile information. It's very simple. The only thing I want to remind you, see all these save buttons? Save. Save. Okay? You must, when you make changes, it's very important to hit the save button. Um, throughout logistics, you're going to find that's the case. So, important point. Uh, to let you know. Also on any of these pages is the exit button. So if all you want to do today is go in and change your profile, then you go ahead and hit exit and you're done. Once you've saved the changes, hit exit and you can go on your merry way.